How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to give you guys a little helpful tool for those of you guys who stream over on Twitch. Now, if you've known about Twitch Strike, which is also another tool I really recommend you guys, and I'll throw that in the video description below. The other one here is called Sully Gnome, and this one breaks down so much information. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on it in this video, but if you guys want me to do like a much in-depth breakdown, then uh, let me know in the comments and I'll go through this a little bit more with you guys. So what this basically is, it's, it's an analytical statistical tool and it allows you to figure out if you want to focus on maybe trending games or most watch games or most watch streamers and so on and so forth. Like it helps you understand what might actually help you guys position yourself good in a directory to help you grow. Now, obviously it's a tool, so it doesn't give you, you know, guaranteed results but it at least kind of helps you figure that stuff out because that's always the biggest question of what game should I stream or when should I stream? You know, that's that's always the biggest question for a lot of people, whether you're streaming on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, it doesn't matter. It's always that question everyone asks themselves. So really quickly here on the homepage, you can see that it's got most watched channels, most watched games, trending games, fastest growing channels, most streamed games, and most viewed streams. So the ones that I would pay attention to is gonna be trending games, most streamed games and fastest growing channels. The reason for that is because trending games, if it's a game that is maybe new or is just starting to get some traction, you want to try to see if you can plant the seed in there. If it's a game that you enjoy, don't play a game. If you don't enjoy it, don't do that just because you want to try to grow. That's the wrong way to do it. Now for most stream games, this is good for you also to know because maybe, maybe the game itself, isn't trending like maybe it's maybe it's not like something that is brand new but it's a game that's starting to really play or get played a lot like say among us for example like among us isn't new it's been around for a little bit of time but it just all of a sudden started getting popularity during quarantine so that became a trending game and then became the most streamed game at one point so that's kind of a reason why I would say pay attention to these two. Now, fastest growing channels, the reason why I mentioned this one is because you want to try to see what they're doing to make them grow fast. And I'm not saying go and copy what they're doing. What I'm saying is take notes. What are they doing? That is something that maybe you can implement that also fits your personality. Don't try to copy and paste what other people are doing because people are going to see right through that. You want to try to take that information from other streamers and see if you can apply it yourself based on your own personality and what you do for your own type of channel. So I'm not going to go through all of these things over here, but they are very important for you to go through. Again, if you guys want me to do an in-depth on it, I have no problems doing that. One thing I do want to do is show you guys what it looks like when you search a channel. So I'm actually going to use a good friend of mine and show you some information here. So this is where you'll be able to get a lot of breakdown of your channel or a game rather. So you can do channels and games for your search. And I'm not going to go through all of these here, but what I want you to pay attention to is the stats that you kind of already have on the summary. So over here on the stream summary, you have it to where it shows streams and games. So it's going to show you like the stream length, the average viewers, peak viewers, watch time, followers, viewers, and then the games we're playing. So he's a variety streamer and he likes to play a lot of different things. He does just chatting whenever he either starts the stream. Sometimes he jumps right into the game, as you can obviously see right here. But having that variety does help his channel. It's his the way he does things. Now, you can see that he streams a, quite a bit of time and he gets a good handful of viewers for it. But what I want you to pay attention to this is the amount of time you stream, does it justify the amount of viewers you're getting? So if you're streaming, let's say, let's say you're brand, brand new to streaming and you stream, you know, eight hours, but you only get three viewers and you're stuck like that for months, I would reevaluate the time that you're streaming and see if you can do something else to try to drive traffic to your stream, whether that's networking and growing in a certain directory with other communities and maybe making content on other platforms like YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or something like that to try to drive people. That way you're not spending so much time with streaming 
and not spending enough time trying to grow the brand. Now, if you're just streaming just a stream and you don't care about the stats, that's fine. But if you're wanting to grow and turn it into something, then you know you got to do more than just stream. So these are not bad stats. And you can see his average watch time, followers, viewers, and stuff like that. Like he's he's definitely up there on the numbers, which is good. So what he's doing is working for him. But you can definitely see that within seven days, he's had 12 viewers. He's had 460 hours of watch time. He's gotten three, uh, three followers gained. And then he's also had 473 followers, or not followers, uh, viewers that were gained. He had a peak of 60. And then he streamed a total of 39 hours within a week. So this is still good information for you guys. I would go through all of these again. If you want to see an in-depth, let me know in the comment section below. And I will ask my streamer buddy here, Skinny, if he minds if I go into more detail on it. But um, the only reason why I didn't show mine is simply for the fact of I haven't streamed on Twitch in a while. And there's just no information there for me unless I go like way, way back. But I wanted to show you guys something a little bit more up to date, more consistent since I only stream over on YouTube. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. I think this is a fantastic tool. I'm going to throw it in the video description below for you guys. I recommend you going through it. And if you have any questions about it or if you want to give anybody else some more information on it in the comments, please go ahead and drop that inside the comment section below. Let us all share the knowledge that we know about this if you guys know anything about it. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon. That way you guys can get notified every time I upload a video and whenever I go live here on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you guys find this tool useful. And I'll see you guys next time.